And we are underway in Buffalo. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First and ten, and Flacco looking to throw. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Now it's Flacco. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. They fake the handoff. Now Flacco to pass. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And this is going to be intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Bills are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. And the drive starts with a completion left side, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 47. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Ford. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. To pass, Flacco. And that will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Flacco and the offense staying put. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Setting up to throw, Flacco. He and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Now this is picked. There he goes, right side. He's got room to roam. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. And that's a linebacker showing he can move pretty good with a football in his hand. That's not just a short shuttle now. He took it and went a pretty good distance, didn't he? Did you get the 40 time on that? <laughs> I didn't, but he got six points out of it. I know that, and a great play for that defensive unit. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. 
And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Here's Flacco. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They look to throw on first and 10 with Flacco. Brian has it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now Flacco. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 15-yard line. Flacco looks to throw. Now the ball comes loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Allen going to throw. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they work this well up field across the 45. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and four. Allen now looks to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this down inside the 40. Now Allen. And now the ball's out. Fumble near mid. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. But well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Second and ten. Flacco from midfield. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First and 10 here for Flacco. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. Spread, spread, spread. 
The handoff to Ford up the middle. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Again, they turn to Ford. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. This is Ford. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. On the ground, it's Ford. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the four, this is second down and one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, what they're seeking with an RPO is space for the receiver to make a catch and then make a play downfield. But there wasn't any space available. Thus, the incompletion. They run with four, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Jerome Ford taking it in from four yards out. And the Browns are an extra point away from moving out in front in the final minute of the half. Hopkins with the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Allen on first and 10. It's complete to Diggs. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's a second and five. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Flush to his right. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. 
The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. On third and long, it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Throwing here on first down. Flacco swings this out for Hunt. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's second down. Flacco off play action. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. It's a gain of 34. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Flacco. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Flacco will take to the air again. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. Touchdown! Jerome Ford. He scored on the ground and through the air. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is up to eight. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is. Because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down. Here's the run with Cook. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. 
And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 34. He finds Latavius Murray. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Back to the ground, Cook. And a loose football. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. To the air, Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Murray is in. Touchdown, Bills. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They run the counter. Four. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Play action, Flacco. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. 
on second down now. It's Ford inside of two minutes remaining in a two-point ball game. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And the Browns get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And it might seal the deal as that makes it a two-score game here with not a lot of time remaining. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's first and ten. To throw is Allen. That's taken in by Sherfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Here's Allen. That's caught by Davis. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Here's first down. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Browns come up with a late turnover. But it would probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.